Good evening, little commas. Nat don't want to be on video tonight. Mm. Don't mind, it's on it's on phone, so you won't be so, so, so high def, we. Um, we've uh, nearly finished the book, so we've been uh, working away at that. Um, and we've had on TV show in the background. Um, what was it called? Four Lives. Four Lives, um, starring Stephen Merchant, not your normal Stephen Merchant. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not going to edit this. I just had to uh, swap over the hands there. Um, not the normal Stephen Merchant um, comedy fest. Although, you know, he was in that X-Men. He was in that X-Man film. The Wolverine film. Oh, my God, I can't even remember what it's called. That film where he played um, someone who wasn't funny either. I can't even remember what the albino... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You found it quite Wolverine. scary in that. Yeah, it was a Wolverine. It was... um. I can't remember the film. Oh, the comments are going mad. Logan. It's called Logan. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, one of the best superhero films ever made. Um, so, yeah, this is about uh, serial killer Stephen Port in, oh, what was it, 2000? Early 2000s? Obviously, we've just watched it, so we should know, but um, early 2000s, I think. Um, we won't say much about that. Uh, Killed, killed a few. Well, in this show, I think, well, it's four lives, it's called Four Lives, killed four people, but there's probably more, potentially could be more, and definitely more assaults and stuff like that. So, uh, what did you think of it, Nat? BBC iPlayer, if I, you're in the UK, I enjoyed it. It was quite, I didn't get too close, I enjoyed it. It was quite, um, we've got to take the decorations down tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, it was sad, wasn't it? And he was very creepy. He was creepy. I don't know... Some of the acting was a little bit... I don't know, but they said it was based on accounts and statements and stuff of... Yeah, it was one of those based on true <sighs> true story, but then, uh, like, drama <laughs> drama in between and stuff. They have to sort of make it up. It was a bit... Uh, the police had... A, you know, it was, it was a big failing by the police. So it was kind of like you don't know how much... How, 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 like how realistic that yeah, all was like because yeah. obviously we're I, I assume we're just getting I don't know who wrote this and stuff but I assume we're getting the family's story yeah. um maybe not so much the police side yeah maybe the police weren't involved in it so much but no. um but obviously the police came good in the end um, it was a bit like when he went to the um police station and, and she was like sorry there's no one available <laughs> it yeah. was just a bit like yeah <laughs> not very I don't know. Didn't wasn't that realistic yeah, that but yeah, believable there. Um but yeah, okay. quite crazy how uh I don't know much about the case or the cases. Um so uh, like Stephen Merchant in it played it quite level. It wasn't like he went too creepy either, like it was just like um played the character quite dull, but pr the character, perhaps the the real life person almost wasn't that bright like Obviously, he managed to to kill four people, but like he, that's what the feeling I got. Like he was playing it, like how the actual person yeah. would be in real life, and I don't know. Maybe he's got interviews and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, what well, we're rating out of six, are we? Uh for enjoyment or what? Should, what should <laughs> is enjoyment this? the right word? Well, it's entertainment, I guess, isn't it? A TV series. Yeah, I guess so. Um, well, very sad story, but obviously we watched it and I was quite gripped by it and I had to get you to pause it a couple of times because I needed to concentrate and I was too I'm distracted by it. Yeah. Um, so I will go pew, 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 pew. Yeah, it's, it is very sad and like you, you forget when you're watching stuff like this, like you teared up multiple times Always. and it was just like, you do forget like. It is it is such a strange time that we live in with true crime being so popular. Like you do forget, like we're just watching that, like you say, like I just saying then entertainment. Mm -hmm. Like you just think if you knew someone that was even related to the family or something, mm -hmm. that would like yeah, it's such a weird thing to watch. Mm -hmm. And even even if you're closer than that, if you were part of the family, it's just such true crime is such a weird um sensation isn't it like yeah it's... but then even well yeah i guess that is like a podcast dramatizing it. isn't it 
Yeah. But, um, I would yeah. like to see a documentary on it as well. Like that's yeah. what I would like to see. But um, but I do I do love these kind of shows. So that's the trouble. You love murder. You read a book about murder. You read a book <laughs> about my... how to murder people. Not oh, no, that's going to come up. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Five years' time when I'm in bloody in prison. Well, Scott, what well, was that massive book? It which was like... episode was it? Was it 270... Was it 285 <laughs> uh, behind the comm when that uh, uh, released... It's a psychology book about murder. Like, yeah, it's like yeah. this thick book it's t- um, that oh, you what's carry around everywhere with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we carried on going out after that. And <laughs> I was a little bit worried from time. I can't but... think of the psychologist's name, but um, you would know. Well, if you know true crime, and he's a famous um, British criminologist and um, psychologist, and you know, a criminologist. I don't know if it's a criminologist, but um, he then write. Like, it's a great book. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it was before like serial like serial the podcast and lots of true crime became popular like i'm really interested in that side of things um but yeah the psychology bit is more like the psychology behind it it's not like how to, how they did it yeah wasn't like a manual <laughs> <laughs> not like a it's, book. it's like it's got a whole it's got a whole it's a big book yeah yeah <laughs> big book of like <laughs> oh god um <laughs> um it, it, but there's like loads of stuff in Fred West there. It's not like Fred West going, right then, <laughs> right, right. What I did yeah, first. Please watch that. The as Fred. Well. Yeah, you have to watch the Fred West. Um, a pro, that's what I think. Feel that these are trying to get to. Yeah, not as good as that. On there, is it? What was Appropriate it adult. Yeah, that was really good. Watch that. ITV is uh, well. It was now. made by. It's old now, but it was made by ITV. It's got Dominic West as Fred West who you'd know from The Wire and a few other things, been in The Affair. Um, and he and um, Emily Mortimer, is it? As, but but that, that what I'm trying to say is, but like that uh, drama was like maybe in the time where it was kind of, it like true crime wasn't as popular back mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like a bit under the, like if you had Fred West, um and rose west like drama now it would just be a big kind of i don't know big thing where they could just get that was almost like what i like to say about that is like almost a play there's only a very few characters and you did have the the interview it was on mainly based around the interviews mm-hmm. oh it's like the, she was the appropriate adult and it was about her yeah, story yeah. rather than rather than fred and rose they mm-hmm. were kind of in the story but you saw it through her eyes and it was very interesting um what was that american one we watched about the avery's or whatever they're called making a murderer yeah yeah on netflix see, i don't that, know if anyone's seen that see that's a bit different isn't it that was a, <laughs> why? Well, <laughs> well it's like that's more of a documentary isn't it well yeah it's uh yeah, that's like a true crime documentary style yeah. thing, but um But we've watched all of them, any many murder things. We, we yeah. We'd love to know how to do it. I don't know why I have nightmares. <laughs> you don't watch murder murder things. Well, we you... just watched a murder thing. Yeah, but that's Stephen Merchant with goggly eyes. <laughs> and his hairline. He looked uh, a bit, he, that it was that chilling look at the end. Uh, what I was going to say, when I found out like he was starring in it, it reminded me of, because um, I have I always think like, well, obviously like comedy and horror is quite close together, like they say in emotions. Oh, right. So like... Um, uh, like love and hate. <laughs> <laughs> that as well. And the new channel <laughs> name for Behind the Com. <laughs> no, it's just announced Measure it. Measure and comedy. <laughs> We love and hate murder and comedy. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, it's nine minutes already we've been filming this. Um, you didn't even want to be in this episode. Um, yeah, no, uh, what I was going to say, when I found out Stephen Merchant, I think when they, the, you're a comic, oh, it's like when um, when you're a comic, like uh, you can, you've got some comics that play some real dark roles. Like Robin Williams plays some real dark roles, and obviously some underlying issues there. But like, it, they're so good at, at play. Even though we're used to seeing them in funny roles, they're so good at like get going 
into that sort of darkness of the, like Pauline Quirk. Do you remember? I don't remember what it was, but it was an old. Oh yeah. She, I, I don't even know if it's. I don't think that was based on a true story. I think it was just an old thing. And she played like she put on quite a lot of weight, I think, and she like played this killer, and she was like whittling these sort of wax little ornaments. I I can't remember what it was called or whatever what it was, but like I just remember like being really freaked out watching that quite young. But watching really freaked out about her performance was just like really unsettling so yeah anyway 10 minutes are up we also watched that murder one do you remember when it was the brother and there was that set it was that 70s set in that house and there was all the shooting no <laughs> which one um wasn't what I just said. Oh, White House Lane. Yeah. Yeah, recent one. Loads, loads of stuff like that. Have you got any good picks for not murder? I don't know. Drama, murder, drama, murder, drama, sort of things. Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad with this channel isn't it hasn't got a million viewers. <laughs> and. Some weekend. Any other murder entertainment going on? Scott's got a book. <laughs> I will link the book below. I don't know if there's going to be any other text below uh, because it's <laughs> what time is it now? Now half past eleven. Half past eleven. We've already wasted eleven minutes of your time. Oh, look, eleven and a 